Hi! In this video, I'll walk you through the setup for your Touche and Hardware Synth so that you can play around with the free hardware presets that we offer for some popular synths. Please be aware that this video only applies to the flagship model Touche and not to Touche SE. Although Touche SE does feature standalone mode, it doesn't support hardware presets. Owners of the classic Touche will find download links to all those free hardware preset packs in the customer account on our website. Just download the preset pack for your specific synth, extract the zip file and run the installer. You will have to relaunch Lie or refresh the preset list via the settings menu to make the new presets appear in Lie's browser. In an earlier video, we learned that as soon as we connect to Shi to a power source, it sends control data via USB MIDI, standard MIDI and CV, even if it's not currently connected to a computer. However, in order to customize the information being transmitted, we'll need to leave Touche hooked up to a computer so that we can first set everything up inside Lie. Obviously, we will also need to connect our hardware synth to Touche at the same time. Since the hardware presets that we offer all rely on controlling parameters via MIDI, I will hook up only the MIDI lane in this case. Find the MIDI in on your synthesizer and link it to the MIDI output on Touche with a standard MIDI cable and our DIN MIDI jack adapter. This way, we can use Lie to browse through all the hardware presets that we installed, try them out directly and adjust them if needed. Once everything has been connected, make sure that the communication between Touche and your hardware synth is working as it should. We need to take care that the MIDI settings in your synth are set up correctly. First off, your synth has to be in the same MIDI channel as Touche. By default, this is MIDI channel 1. Secondly, Please ensure that your synth is currently able to receive and react to MIDI CC information. On some devices, this setting may not be activated by default. Check the manufacturer's manual and make sure this option is enabled. Lastly, the hardware presets we offer are all built up on the factory sounds original to each synthesizer. And every hardware preset is tailor-made for one specific factory sound. In order to automatically dial up this specific sound in a synth, we use MIDI program change as a kind of remote control. And please make sure that you A. have your synth set up to accept program change messages and B. you didn't override or change the memory position where the factory sounds are originally placed. You should now be able to simply double click on a hardware preset in Lie's browser. Lie tells Touche to send a program change message to your synth which will in turn load the factory sound that corresponds to the hardware preset and then you can start playing. Now, if we want to use this preset with a synthesizer without having to connect Touche to the computer, we'll need to upload our preset to Touche's internal memory. For that, go to Menu and click Memory View. The Memory View displays all of Touche's 24 internal memory slots, 6 banks of 4 presets. Each bank has its own color, so you can remember which preset is which. Let's save the first dozen of the subsequent 37 presets into the internal memory. Click on the text field to select a memory slot, then double click on the preset that you want to save in that spot. Repeat this for all the presets, then click Save in Touche to trigger the transfer. Once this is done, you can quit Lie. In fact, you could shut down your computer completely now and power Touche via a standard USB charger instead. Touche will switch to standalone mode whenever it is not connected to Lie and the LEDs will indicate which preset is loaded. By default, it starts with preset 1 from Blue Bank. Now remember that I like preset 3 inside the yellow bank, which was called Dua Organ. So I tap the right button to step through the presets until I reach that position. That sums up how to connect your hardware synth to Touche 
and how to play and browse through the hardware presets. In the next video, we will learn how to create our own hardware presets or edit existing ones. Thanks for watching.